Hello there. Today we are going to be creating a bonsai pomegranate forest grouping. Uh, we have a gentleman in from Indonesia who will be helping us. This is Mark de Cruz of Marke Bonsai. We start by preparing the pot and the uh, plastic labels so that we can label the forest or the trees of the forest and kind of place them um, generally where we would like the trees to to be in our composition. Uh, we're using five trees in this composition. We kind of mark them on, on, on a template of the tray that we had drawn earlier. Um, and the first task that we do is uh, take the trees out of the pot and reduce the root balls so that uh, they will fit onto uh, the forest tray that we'll be using. These ones have been a little overgrown and so they're slightly uh, tough to remove. We save the moss uh, because we'll be using the moss later on in the composition. Towards the end you will see how we use it. We start by removing all the moss off the, the trunk and then creating uh, a taper at the top so that we can see the nebari. Uh, we cut away all the fine roots so that the roots are uh, ready to grow back fast um, and generally reduce the root ball as we go along. Uh, we use a chopstick, a metal chopstick in this particular case, to help remove the soil from the side and the top. Once we remove the soil then we can cut away the fine roots. Um, we have to reduce the size of the root ball so that it's something like uh, the size of uh, a biggish apple. Um, you cut away, you remove the soil and then cut the uh, roots off. It's much easier to work uh, that way. Carry on with uh, the rest of the rest of the trees till you got root balls for all of them uh, and once that is uh, done you prepare your pot uh, flatten all the wires down so that you can start placing the balls on the uh, on the tray place your first tree just off center remember to look at the plan that you had uh, drawn out earlier uh, and then place the rest of the trees so that uh, they match what you had in the in the plan. Uh, check to see that it looks uh, fine, uh, that the root ball sizes are right. Uh, make a quick drawing of uh, of it in a 3D ideas. relief so that so now, you remember which branches go where when you start a movie. Remove the trees from the tray and at this time you can start adding the soil a bonsai soil into into the tray. Make a, a layer at the bottom of the the tray. Uh, cover up the the base ring of the tray that we had made. Now place your trees again, uh, starting with the primary tree. Wire it in uh, uh, gently. Uh, not don't tie it into position now. Place the other trees uh, so that they start matching the maps that you had created earlier. Um, and once you have all the trees in position, you can begin wiring them uh, uh, in, in place. It's a good idea to take a photograph uh, and, and double check against the photograph to see that you've got all your trees in position. Uh, that way you uh, make less mistakes. And th this is particularly helpful when you have uh, quite a number of trees, especially if there are 20, 25 of them, then it it makes quite a, quite a difference to <laughs> the amount of time it can take to creating one of these uh, bonsai forests. Now that you have all the trees in position, Use your gin plier and tighten them up into into place. Uh, and uh, once you have them in, in place, you can top them up with uh, bonsai soil. Make sure that the root balls uh, are firmly 
in position and that uh, they don't move. Topping up the soil uh, should only commence once you are sure that the trees are not moving on the on the tray. Very cool. So, what we have to remember is that we got this as the peak, and mm. then we fill. We got this. The rain comes down like that. So okay. they call it gullies. Yeah. So we cover up till the nabaris. Oh, okay. And this is sphagnum moss, so it keeps the soil from running, but also it helps me grow that green moss very well. Oh. Otherwise, the green moss doesn't stick. It just falls off. So let's carry on doing this. And then you use the spatula. Here's mm -hmm. everything. Flatten it down. So it comes just below the rim. But oh, okay. you always have a maintain a slope. So you maintain a slope, okay? Okay. And also try and remember these gullies. Mm. And then the, the really nice bit is when we start putting the moss around. Yeah? And, and I use and I use the tweezer and the thing is that to when you bring another piece together mm -hmm. you stitch it into it so first of all remove the soil from the bottom oh, okay so it's not too thick and then when you put it together make sure that they they stitch into each other oh, okay and then remember to keep those gullies in between mm. Mm? so you'll you'll have this moss forming but little like mounds so use different types of moss if you can, yeah, okay. because it looks quite natural and more lovely. I mean, I'm coming from far away, from Indonesia, 13 hours flight, and then just for this lesson with Mr. Mark about a bonsai, how to make a grouping in bonsai. I learned a lot of things from him. He's really master of this. So my profession is uh, I'm a businessman. I just want to learn about bonsai. Make me curious. And then I found out about him in YouTube. And strictly I asked my daughter here to book a course with him. Maybe I will take a course of mastering of the bonsai. Thank you. Thank you. To Mr. Mark. And saya da, saya belajar ini dengan Mr. Mark khusus mengenai bonsai jauh dari Indonesia datang ke London uh, hanya untuk belajar uh, bonsai dengan Mr. Mark dan saya pelajari banyak hal yang saya tidak temukan di dalam buku-buku uh, yang ada tapi di dalam uh, pelajaran kepada dari para Mr. Mike saya mendapat banyak hal yang saya temukan Terima kasih, Mr. Mike. Thank you very much.